Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty and NCAA Football 2006. We played this game earlier. My power went out in the fourth quarter and we lost it. So let's try it again. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited about it. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Prince McCutcheon on the return. And where? Oh, boy. Just, just bear with me, guys. Apparently, when my power went out, OBS got rid of everything that I put into it. Nicholas Hall looking to throw. Quick pass. Brandon Lee has the catch. off to Harris Gurley. He's going to be dropped for a loss by Demarius Lamache. Let's take a look at the Southern Utah offense. Led by Nicholas Hall at quarterback. Alex Starr is the backup, but we'll be seeing him line up at receiver here today. Cameron Matthews, Harris Gurley in the backfield. Brandon Lee uh, is the fullback on the roster, but he's playing some tight end. Uh, Jaquan Freeman, receiver. Prince McCutcheon as well. And Brandon Red at right guard. Hall looking to throw it. He's going to try to take off instead. Hall gets dropped at around the 35-yard line. Hammer Jammer in the chat. Harris Gurley, Tyler Rocky, Sean Mahan, Michael Gregory. Last Life Gaming Network. What's going on, buddy? If you haven't checked out his channel, go ahead and do that. And there's the return by Malik Higgins. Gunny in the chat. What's going on, Gunny? As always, don't forget to slap the like button. Do we have some technical issues? Yeah, my power went out in the fourth quarter. Holding. Offense for Cal Poly, led by Alexander Connor. He's backed up by DeAndre Guerin. At halfback is Raul Lozano the third. Receiving core, Malik Higgins, Desmond Lewis, and true freshman Dakota Edwards. At long snapper and tight end is Tom Schaefer. And Tyler Chandler is the other tight end. Dan Williamson is the junior left guard. Craniac Gaming back for another one. What's going on, man? Connor in the shotgun. And Dakota Edwards is going to drop it. Too easy of a catch to be dropped. Defense in Southern Utah, Jericho Stevens at D-end. Defensive tackle, Adam Joseph. The linebacker, Logan Tyler. At corner is C.J. Moreland. Free safeties are Bill Stevens and Emmanuel Wise. And at strong safety is Bryce King. Crowd going crazy here on second and 20. Connor set to throw. He's going to be sacked. And that was Adam Joseph. Junior defensive tackle. That's his 11th career sack. That's going to bring up third down and 25 for the Mustangs. Yeah. 
Connor under center, looking to throw. Rolling out, he's going to be destroyed again by Adam Joseph. My goodness, they can't block him. Fourth and 25, Mustangs going to punt it away. From his own end zone. And he boots it pretty deep. Oh, my goodness. All the way to the 38-yard line. Jaquan Freeman returns it back up to the 45. We have a new question of the game for this one. Well, if we do, you got to get it to me, guys. Thunderbirds back on offense. Hall looking to throw. He's going to take off instead and gets it up to midfield. Let's take a look at the Cal Poly defense. Led by Demarius Lamache at defensive end. Two defensive tackles, Greg Ford and Paxton Erdley. At outside linebacker, Jay Washington. Cornerback, Joseph Lozano. And free safety, Ralph William. Lamache is in the zone right now for the Mustangs. Harris Gurley gets the carry and picks up three or four yards. Who has the most rushing yards in FCS Season 1? That would be MJ Gator Jr. Third down and one for the Thunderbirds. All under center. He's going to toss it out to Gurley, who's in the open field. Watch out for the freshman inside the 20. Still going down to the 14-yard line. What a run by the Heisman frontrunner. Tight end set. Hall under center. And he's going to look to throw it here. All day to throw. Deep shot. Nope, that is not a deep shot. Out in the flats to Prince McCutcheon. And incomplete. Again, looking to throw his hit, and he has a man wide open, but the hit forces a bad pass. Third down and ten. Hall. Touchdown, Jaquan Freeman. Too easy. Three and a half minutes, but we got some points on the board. And the Thunderbirds are on top, 7 to nothing, over the ninth-ranked Cal Poly Mustangs. Southern Utah, number 11 in the country coming into this game. back to return it. This is actually Desmond Lewis on the return. Breaks the tackle. Look out. Desmond Lewis in the open field up past the 35-yard line. Good return from him. He does have one kick return for a touchdown in his career. He's a 96-yarder.
counter. Play action. He's going to take off. And Bill Stevens brings him down after about five or six yards on the carry. And there is a flag. Fantastic. Apologies if the uh, stream lags a little bit here. My computer's trash, and I have to save two images. All right. And here is Raul Lozano the third. Nice stiff arm, and he gets destroyed by C.J. Moreland. Oh, my goodness. What a hit by the corner. You hit the lag? Yeah, I hate it too. But what are you going to do about it? Nothing. All right, we should be good now. Maybe. Did we get the Tom Schaefer thing fixed? No, we did not. Third down and two for the Mustangs. Goal line set. They're going to hand it off, and Lozano is going to get the first down. Jericho Stevens on the tackle. There's the question of the game. What is Southern Utah's home record when playing top 25 teams? And they're going to hand it off to Lozano again. He looks a little tired. And he'll pick up 9 or 10 yards. Moreland on the stop again. Second down and inches. And they're going to give it to him again. And he gets destroyed again. My goodness, what a hit. Feels bad. Number one ranked defense in the country. Third down and in inches. And they're going to hand it off to him again. And Logan Tyler meets him in the backfield. And he did not get it. Oh my goodness. What a stop for the Thunderbird defense. Tyler came into this game with 161 tackles in his career. 20 for a loss and 5 sacks. To go along with 8 interceptions, 12 forced fumbles, 2 recovered. And 2 defensive touchdowns and 13 pass deflections. And that punt goes way out of the back of the end zone. Touchback. End of the first quarter. Thunderbirds on top. Seven and nothing. Over the Cal Poly Mustangs here in Pac-10 action. And Gurley's going to pick up a couple yards. Second down and eight now from the 22. They do have the fourth best offense in the country. 543 yards per game. Hall takes off up the middle. Paxton Erdley gets the stop. Maybe three yards on the carry for the quarterback. And it's third and six, just like that. Lamache in the zone at defensive end for Cal Poly. And he almost got there. This pass is dropped by the fullback, Brandon Lee. The Southern Utah is going to have to punt it away. And the fans here in Cedar City are a little upset about that. Lee Higgins back to return this one. He does have four punt returns for touchdowns in his career, and he just got lit up by Prince McCutcheon. Oh, my goodness.
Connor in the shotgun. Four receivers set, and it's a direct snap. Miles Dawkins up in the house. And Moore stops him for a loss. Loss of two, second down and 12 upcoming. This is Southern Utah or Pine Bluff. Good question. Second down and 12. Logan Tyler in the zone, and there's an offsides penalty. Second down and seven upcoming. Tyler in the zone at middle linebacker again. Four receivers. Connor looking to throw it. He's hit as he throws. Deep shot, and it's caught. Desmond Lewis off to the races and dragged down inside the 10-yard line. Biggest play of the game so far for the Mustangs. They desperately needed that one. Hagen just missed on the deflection attempt. Don't pay attention to where it says third in the country or fifth in the country because it's obviously not correct. Connor looking to throw again. Pressured. He's going to be sacked for a big loss here. Oh, my goodness. Bennett, his second sack of the season, drops them back to the 19-yard line. Hunter and sixth in the country in red zone scoring. 66% on the season. And it's because of plays like the last one. The crowd is going crazy. Lozano is going to be dropped for another loss. Third and goal from just around the 20-yard line. Shotgun. And they're just going to keep it on the ground, and Lozano's going to get it up to the 15 yard line. So the Mustangs content with a field goal try here. <laughs> 32 yard attempt for Alexander. DeAndre Guerin on the hold. It is good, seven to three. Thunderbirds still on top of the Cal Poly Mustangs here in Cedar City, Utah. Quad Freeman and Prince McCutcheon back deep to return. This is Jaquan Freeman from his own two-yard line. Puts it up the middle and dropped around the 18. See what Nicholas Hall and this offense can do. Sophomores had a rough season so far. Bunch of turnovers, but looking to turn it around. And it off to Harris Gurley, who was dropped by Paxton early at the line of scrimmage. So they keep running it right up the gut with him. And it's clearly not working out too well for him. And they're going to hand this one off to Cameron Matthews, and he'll pick up two or three. Early on the tackle again. I think that's his third or fourth already in the game. Mustang defense really hasn't been on the field a whole lot. They're down in seven. 
at the 21 yard line. Hall gonna try to take off and that's gonna be a sack for Barnes. So the Mustangs get the three and out. And they'll call a timeout. Tom Schaefer in the chat, what's going on buddy? Deep to return, Malik Higgins from the 31 yard line. And a nice return up to the 47. Connor under center, two tight end set. And they look to throw it. And he's picked off. Logan Tyler has that one. Oh, my goodness. That is Tyler's ninth career interception. And Connor threw it right to him. What was that throw? Oh, my goodness. Throw it now. Thunderbirds looking to take a two score lead, and that one's picked off. Oh my goodness. Quarterback's just playing outstanding here so far in the game. Don't worry, Tom. We'll, we'll fix that at halftime, buddy. I don't know why, but as soon as we go into a computer versus computer game, it takes you out of long snapper, and I, I don't know why. Second string snapper, you're going to get cut. Oh, my goodness. DeAndre Guerin in at quarterback for the Mustangs. And the big fella. Going to throw it out to Lozano, and he gets popped. Oh, my goodness. Logan Tyler, what a hit. Second down and 11 after that big hit from Logan Tyler. Connor will try to throw it. He's going to take off up the middle instead. And a good run for the quarterback. And almost picked up the first down. Third and inches. Coming up. Look at Polly. And they're in the shotgun set here. Inches to go. And they'll hand it off to Lozano who falls forward. He's got the first down. Clock out. Logan Tyler is in the zone again at middle linebacker for the Thunderbirds. And I hand it off to Lozano again. No gain. So Cal Poly content with the score going into the half. 7 to 3. Thunderbirds on top. They clearly don't want any more points in this half. That is the end of the first half. Thunderbirds on top, 7-3 to three over Cal Poly. Here in Cedar City, Utah, our next game is going to be San Diego at UC Davis. We're going to be doing that one tomorrow because, well, I, I just don't have it in me tonight to do it. And apparently I cannot do in-game strategy right before the kickoff. But anyways, this is our next game. That'll be tomorrow. Hope you guys will enjoy that one as well. After this kickoff, I will put that lovely graphic back on here and, you know, put Tom Trey for a long snapper.
RIP San Diego. You think so, Harris? Do you think so? Thunderbirds, boot it! Oh, I can't even adjust the depth chart anyway. Never mind. That would mean that I'd have to go to Cal Poly and then get out of there. We'll just do it after the game. Question of the game for anybody that missed it. What is Southern Utah's home record when playing top 25 teams in this series? Connor looking to throw it. And a nice throw. Oh my goodness, Desmond Lewis ran back about 20 yards. What happened? And Joel Moore... Injured his chest on the play for the Thunderbirds and just gets walked through. Awesome. Second down and 10 after the no gain on the reception from Desmond Lewis. And just Connor over the middle and there's a drop for Tom Schaefer. He got lit up. can tell you for the question of the game that they played six games at home against top 25 teams. So that should help you guys narrow it down a little bit as Connor gets destroyed. Oh my goodness. That just wasn't even very nice at all. Quad Freeman back to return it from his own 40. And a nice spin move gets it up inside Mustang territory. Not a lot of offense in this game so far. Not even a little bit. Shotgun, Gurley to his left. And Hall will throw a quick pass, and that's a drop. Ralph William comes up to lay out the receiver. they can do on this play. Hall looking to take off. He's his. He throws. That is intended for Brandon Lee, the fullback. And it is incomplete. So third down and ten now for Southern Utah. Hall's numbers. 1,110 yards, 11 touchdowns, nine interceptions on the season. He only had seven last year. Five wide receivers set. Ralph William in the zone at free safety. And they're going to test him deep here, and that is incomplete intended for Prince McCutcheon. And it wasn't even close. San Diego's going to beat UC Davis 23-10. to <laughs> I like it. I like the prediction. Uh-oh. That's going to be kick-catch interference for sure. On Hagen, so that'll get them the ball at their own 28 yard line instead of the 16. Connor to throw it. And it's picked off again. Logan Tyler with a back juke and a broken tackle. Logan Tyler down to the 15-yard line. His 10th career INT. Oh, my goodness. Uh, 
I don't even know where that throw was going. Wow. Tyler coming for purely spot with those moves. <laughs> he does have some pretty good moves. Here's Hall. Taking a shot left side. Caught by Jaquan Freeman at around the 11 yard line. Second down and six. Shotgun set. Demarius Lamache in the zone for the Mustangs defense. Hall will throw it over the middle deflected away intended for the non-subscriber tight end Tyler Rocky in the chat was one of the coldest takes of all time you gotta love it Harris you're not gonna fall on the Heisman list in the middle of a week my guy we go over everything after the final game of the week uh, Jaquan Freeman in the zone at the top of the screen. See if Hall will test him here. And he'll throw it that way. And Brandon Lee, the fullback, drops his third pass of the game. attempt 28 yarder kick is up and it is good it's 10 to 3 here in Cedar City Utah 11th ranked Thunderbirds on top of the 9th ranked Mustangs of Cal Poly Johnson on for the kickoff to return this one is Desmond Lewis from his own one yard line and Desmond Lewis gets it up to the 27 and a half 28 yard line maybe Three. 75 yards of offense for the Mustangs 71 for Southern Utah definitely a defensive battle here tonight Connor they'll throw it again and that is completed to Malik Higgins, his first catch of the game for six yards. It's progress for Connor, who has now thrown 47 career interceptions in under three seasons. Of course, he did throw like 25 of those in his freshman year. I think he had 28 touchdowns, 25 interceptions his freshman year. I was just throwing it everywhere with him. He's going to take off here. Connor up the middle. First down. He's got 48 yards rushing on the season. He's over 1,000 yards rushing uh, for his career. 23 touchdowns. All right, Hammer. Take it easy, brother. Much luck to Klein's internet. Yeah. Here's Lozano getting to the outside. First down again for Cal Poly. DeAndre Guerin in at quarterback now for Cal Poly at the 47 yard line of the Thunderbirds. See if we take a deep shot here, and he will. Deep shot down the middle, intended for Desmond Lewis, deflected away by Bill Stevens, the freshman safety. Stevens has three interceptions on the season. The second game is trash. Well, Harris, you don't like low scoring close games? Could be worse. Southern Utah could be losing by 50 or winning by 50. Garen's still in at quarterback. They're going to go option attack here. And he pitches it out late. And the fullback will get it up to the 40-yard line. Defense! Defense! 
Third down for Gap Bali. DeAndre Garrett still in at quarterback. They need three yards for the first. And they'll go option up the middle. It's a first down for Schiffer, the number three tight end. And C.J. Moreland has injured his elbow on the play. That would be a big loss for the secondary. They do not have any other subscriber corners on the roster. John Perez in the chat. What's going on, John? Hope you're doing well, my friend. Best drive of the game so far for Cal Poly. Connor under center. And we'll hand it off to the fullback. And the fullback's going to get three or four yards. And in comes DeAndre Guerin in a quarterback. C.J. Moreland broke his elbow and is out for the season for the Thunderbirds. That is a major loss for this defense. And Guerin is going to attack that side immediately, but it's deflected away, intended for Malik Higgins. And that will bring up third down and six. Staying three of seven on third downs tonight. And they're going to go play action. Connor, oh my goodness, what a play. And finds his man wide open. Down at the six-yard line is Desmond Lewis. What a play from Alexander Connor. First and goal, Cal Poly. Chaos driven in the chat. What's going on, brother? Cal Poly has nearly doubled their offensive output on this drive. And they're going to hand this off to Lozano, who runs a man smooth over and picks up a yard. Who's out for the season for the Thunderbirds? C.J. Moreland, their number one corner. Second to go from the five. Shotgun set. Dakota Edwards, freshman receiver, cannot hear the play call. And here's a quick pass right side. Raul is on to the third. Wide open. Touchdown, Cal Poly Mustangs. We got ourselves a ball game, folks. Ron Kemp in the chat. What's going on, Ron? <laughs> we back? Yes, sir. Hopefully my power doesn't go out this time. All right, we're all tied up. Ten apiece, folks. Here in the third quarter, that was an 11 place, 73 yard drive. to three minutes off the clock. Hands down, the best drive of the game for either team. Any takeaways yet? Uh, yeah, a few. A handful. A plethora of takeaways. Southern Utah has, what, two interceptions? And the Mustangs got one as well, I believe. It goes out again, you call it shenanigans? Yes, sir. It's not the turnover ball anymore. I mean, there's still time, you know? It's not nine turnovers, but it, it's a few. Shotgun set. Nicholas Hall fakes the handoff, and that is deflected away by Jay Washington. Intended for Alex Dar, the quarterback who's out there playing some receiver. If they don't have C.J. Moreland, that means they're screwed. I never thought I'd see anyone say that because he was terrible his freshman year. But that, that is a big loss for the secondary, for sure, for Southern Utah. He went from being the meme of the channel his freshman season. There's a nice tackle by Joseph Lozano. But he went from being the meme of the channel his freshman year to being a really solid corner last season. They're down at 10. Hall 
We're gonna throw it. Nice protection. Deep shot right side and incomplete intended for Prince McCutcheon. Why, why does McCutcheon look so short? I could have swore that he was like six foot three. I mean, what is that? Southern Utah gonna punt it away. Brazil on for the punt. His 13th of the season. Malik Higgins back to return it. From his own 33-yard line, Malik Higgins is slammed to the turf. All right, here's the answer of the question of the game. What is Southern Utah's home record when playing top 25 teams? They are 3-3 three and three at home. So Harris, I believe you guessed three for three. You are correct. Is Connor taking off? Oh my goodness, what a run. I thought he was going to be sacked. And he somehow gets a first down out of that. John Jensen in the chat. What's going on, John? Harris, I, I don't know why the receiver was smaller than the quarterback. Because Prince McCutcheon is a pretty tall guy, if I remember correctly. Final play of the third quarter, play action. Connor, deep shot, and incomplete intended for Desmond Lewis. And it's all tied up, 10 apiece, as we enter the fourth quarter. Get your fours up in the chat, guys. Our next game tomorrow is San Diego at number 13 ranked UC Davis. Some more Pac-10 action. That's probably going to be a morning game around 11 or 12 Eastern Standard Time, or just whenever I feel up to it. DeAndre Guerin in a quarterback, finds his man, that is Raul Lozano the third. He's got the first down of the 35-yard line. Mustangs looking to take the lead. Three catches, 18 yards, and a touchdown. He had, he had over 700 yards receiving his freshman season. Connor again to Lozano. No gain, though. It's probably for the best that he went out of bounds because Logan Tyler was bearing down on him. Lozano had Shaq chasing him. I'm pretty sure Shaq is playing for Eastern Washington. Let's, let's get it right. All right. Connor in the shotgun. 5.35 left in the game. I'm going to hand it off to Lozano. He's going to pick up two or three yards up that gut. Russian comparison, pretty evenly matched between Lozano and Gurley. Garen in at quarterback now, true freshman. And DeAndre will look to take off up the middle. Nice juke, and he gets the first down. Mustangs keeping the drive alive. What a run by the freshman. He has two rushing touchdowns on the season, and that carry right there got him over the century mark for the year as well. This isn't as good as the other stream that we were having, but this is still a good game. 10-10. to 10. Less than five minutes left in the ball game. Connor in the shotgun. Dakota Edwards again cannot hear the play. Logan Tyler is in the zone for Southern Utah. And there's a catch for Malik Higgins as they test that new cornerback. Filling in for the injured C.J. Moreland who is out for the season with a broken elbow. When am I going to play Tar Heels again? When I have some extra time, my friend. Don't you worry. Garen in at quarterback again for Cal Poly. And he's going to take a shot over the middle. It's caught by Desmond Lewis. First and goal upcoming for Cal Poly. From the seven-yard line. You guessing a 10-win season for North Carolina? I mean, we just had a 10-win season. Here's Lozano up the middle. Touchdown! Mustangs take the lead. A couple really good drives for Cal Poly here in the second half. 
And that was just too easy. Logan Tyler got caught on his own guy. Couldn't get there to make the play. And Lozano punches it in again. Let's go. That is his 44th rushing touchdown of his career. Alexander's extra point is up and it is good. Cal Poly never out. No, sir. Four minutes left in the game. Let's see if Nicholas Hall and this offense for Southern Utah has any magic in them. Back to return. Prince McCutcheon from four yards deep is going to take it out of the end zone and gets it up to the 16. Probably should have just let that one bounce out of the back. The birthday was yesterday, John. Happy belated birthday, sir. Hall in the shotgun. Four receivers. And he'll look to throw it. Deep shot over the middle and incomplete. Deflected away in tender for Alex Starr. Hall is 3 of 15. 17 yards, a touchdown, and a pick. It has been just a rough season for him overall. But the Thunderbirds are still in contention for the Pac-10 title. So, I mean, they're doing something right. Ralph William in the zone for Cal Poly, and luckily Harris Gurley got taken down before William could get there. And it is now third down and 12 after a loss of two for the freshman halfback. They are two of eight on third downs tonight. Five wide receivers set for the sophomore quarterback, Nicholas Hall. And a quick strike intended for Dar, and right by his hands. Couldn't get it to him. Fourth and 12, they're going to have to punt it away again. Clearly the computer's not good with you. Computer's not good with uh, a lot of people. Don't take it personally. Lee Higgins back to return this one from the 40-yard line. And a nice return up past the 50. And there's a flag for Clippin. Every Jacksonville player. That's straight facts, Jay. Straight facts. All right, so that'll bring them back to their own 36-yard line. Mustang's looking to put this one away, though. Goal line set. Lozano with the carry to the outside. Look out. Lozano stiff arms Bryce King. And he's dropped at the 45-yard line of Southern Utah. Nice run for the junior halfback. Little Lozano. So hurtful. Shotgun set. Lozano to Connor's left. And they're going to hand it off to him. And Lozano picks up seven or eight more yards. He's got 74 yards in the game. That'll bring him over 3,500 rushing yards for his career. Really solid career for him. Second down and three. Goal line set again for Cal Poly. He's trying to run this clock out now. And there's Lozano again. Great blocking downfield. Oh, he gets destroyed at the 25-yard line, but he moves the chains again. Winner will party with Jacksonville's personal assistant. I mean, you're going to have to talk to Marvin about that. No phones allowed. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. 
First and ten for the ninth ranked Mustangs of Cal Pop. Logan Tyler, middle linebacker getting hyped. They're gonna hand it off again. Lozano up the gut. Oh, he gets clothesline, but he picks up nine yards. Now, a loss here for either team does not really mean much as far as conference play. The other losses on the schedule so far for both of these squads are non-conference games. And here's Lozano getting to the outside and getting into the end zone for another touchdown. His 45th of his career. And that might just do it, folks. Oh my goodness gracious, what a run. But anyway, one loss in the conference isn't going to you know, derail your whole season. Cal Poly lost to Prairie View A&M in their loss on the season. And Southern Utah lost last week to Tennessee State. So those were non-conference ball games for them. Alexander on to make it a 14-point ball game. And it is good. 24 to 10. Mustangs on top. Jaquan Freeman on for the return. Going up the left sideline. Jaquan Freeman, look out. Breaking tackle still going up to the 48. Great return for Jaquan Freeman. If you want a double header, but you don't want to see a blowout today. Come on, man. You got to give San Diego some faith. Come on, brother. Hall looking to throw. Got his man, Jaquan Freeman. Picks up three yards. And now they're going to run the football here. Scurley breaks the tackle and gets one yard. He's got 35 yards tonight on seven attempts. Lozano definitely winning the duel of the halfbacks here. You think San Diego is going to blow out UC Davis? Wouldn't that be something? Tyler played the game for the Thunderbirds. Lozano, player of the game for Cal Poly. Here's Hall looking to throw it again. And that is deflected away. Every single pass to Alex Dar has been deflected away or dropped tonight. Fourth down and six. Fans letting him hear it. Lamache in the zone for Cal Poly. They're going to go option here and pitch it out. Prince McCutcheon has it for the first down and more. Ralph William lays him out at the 34-yard line, but they do move the chains. One timeout left for the Thunderbirds. All hit as he throws. Deep shot and deflected away by Ralph William. Intended for Jaquan Freeman in the end zone. Amache in the zone again. At D end. Hall gets rid of it. Deflected away and caught by Jaquan Freeman. Oh my goodness. It's 33 yards passing tonight. And they're going to go no huddle here. Only one time I left. they got to score quick though. Hall under center. Play action. And gets rid of it. And almost picked off. Oh my goodness. Second down and 10 now from the 22 yard line. 30 seconds left in the game. Could we see something crazy here tonight? Oh, 
All hit as he throws. And it's caught! Harris Gurley has the touchdown for Southern Utah. Oh my goodness. We got ourselves a ball game, folks. Washington got there, but just a little too late on the play. That's Gurley's fourth touchdown catch of the season. They'll need an onside kick here. They have one timeout left, so if they do get the onside kick, they have a little bit of you know time to work with. Plus the timeout. What do you mean, Harris? Ball game's not over. With 27 seconds left. Anything could happen. Gotta get this outside kick, though. Oh my goodness, he kicked it right to him. Wow. That was a linebacker too, so they kicked it to the right guy. But that's just going to have to do it right there, folks. It did end up being a pretty good ball game. I'm going to call their final timeout here. Not that it's going to do much. Now it's over. Yes, you are correct. Now it is okay to say ball game. And there's a flag for offsides. Okay then. They just don't want the game to end, I guess. A little bit of bubbly in the locker room. Connor set to kneel it one final time in this game. And that's going to do it from Cedar City, Utah, fellas. Number nine ranked Cal Poly Mustangs come in to Utah and take them out 24 17. 11th ranked Thunderbirds lose their second game of the season. Cal Poly improves to 5-1. Southern Utah falls to 4-2 on the season. It's their first conference loss of the year. And Raul Lozano, the head coach, getting doused with the Gatorade. All right, Tom, take it easy, buddy. Big time win for the Mustangs program. Let's take a look at the stats. Not a whole lot of offense. Hall really struggled throwing the football tonight. Thunderbirds 2 of 10 on third downs. Three turnovers in the game. Time of possession won by Cal Poly. They, they had two really good drives in the second half that resulted in touchdowns. And that really was the big difference right there. And Raul Lozano the third, you know, putting the team on his back in the second half as well. Hall, 6 of 22, 55 yards, two touchdowns, one pick, long of 22. There's a lot of drops tonight, though. It's not it's not Hall's fault. And the time of possession battle, you know, that was won by Cal Poly, that was a huge difference as well. Jaquan Freeman with a touchdown, Harris Gurley with a touchdown. Lots and lots of drops, folks. Three, four, five. Five drops for the receivers. Logan Tyler, four tackles. Two for loss, two sack or two interceptions rather. And CJ Moreland finishes the season with four tackles in this game. Adam Joseph, three tackles, one for loss, one sack. So going into Moreland's senior season, he's going to have 85 tackles. So not bad. Not bad at all for a corner. All right, a couple deflections. Bill Stevens had one. No forced fumbles. None of that jazz. All 
All right, Connor, 7 of 13, 91 yards, one touchdown, two picks. He is having a terrible season. F's in the chat for Southern Utah. <laughs> so hurtful. Lozano, 112 yards. Really good game from him. Four broken tackles. He also had a touchdown reception. So three total touchdowns for Raul Lozano with the third. Bunch of drops over here as well, I think. Oh, just two. Two drops. Dan Williamson allowed a sack from his left guard spot. That's very rare. Paxton early four tackles led the team. That's crazy. He's like the least talked about player on this team. No sacks. One interception for Aaron Harris. Bunch of deflections in the game. No forced fumbles. And a 44-yard punt return for Malik Higgins. And that is it, guys. Let's take a look at the players of the game. Lozano, Alexander, and Harris for Cal Poly. Logan Tyler, Harris Gurley, and Doolin for Southern Utah. Our next game, San Diego Toreros traveling to take on the 13th-ranked UC Davis Aggies. Of course, that is another Pac-10 matchup. That's going to be tomorrow during the day sometime. Because I just don't have it in me to do another game right now. I already did this one earlier. And we know how that turned out if you were a part of the stream. My power went out in the fourth quarter. And yeah, I, I was not happy. But if you haven't already, slap the like button on your way out of this stream. It's much appreciated. Join our Discord community if you haven't already. We'll be adding new recruits um, on all of our 12 schools before the next week of games, week 8. And subscribe if you're new, guys. But that's it for me. Until next time, take it easy.